Hi, it's Koya. I'm now at Nanko Ferry Terminal in Osaka. I'm heading back to Kyushu. I am going to get on Sunflower Ferry Boat today. Today, I will take a route from Osaka to Shibushi in Kagoshima Prefecture. This is a new ferry boat built in 2018 named Sunflower Satsuma Kirishima. The inside is pretty gorgeous and modern. I can't wait to get on. Thanks to Sunflower Satsuma, I was given a permission to take videos allowing me to show all the rooms and their details. I hope you enjoy the new Sunflower Satsuma. We'll leave Osaka at 5.55 p.m. and arrive at Shibushi, Kagoshima at 9.40 a.m. tomorrow morning. So it will take 15 to 16 hours, a long journey. So I'm so excited. So we're supposed to check in about one hour before the departure. About the access, this place is called ATC, which means Asia and Pacific Trade Center. I see quite a few people here. You get off the closest station called Trade Center Mae, which takes you to the ferry terminal. Just to warn you, don't get off at stations like Osaka South Port or Ferry Terminal Station. Alright, let's check in and go on board. Okay, this is the entrance. They check your body temperature, hand sanitizer, and so on for COVID-19 prevention measures. Let's get going. Sunflower is one of the most famous ferry boats in Japan. There are three routes connecting between Kansai and Kyushu. So between Beppu and Osaka, it's called Sunflower Aibori Cobalt. Between Oita and Kobe, it's called Sunflower Gold Pearl. And finally between Shibushi and Osaka, it's called Sunflower Satsuma Kirishima. So boats go through Seto Island Sea for Beppu and Oita, and boats for Shibushi go through on Pacific Ocean. We see these warning signs for such a distance in the elevators. Okay, so I took an elevator up to the 7th floor, heading to my cabin, 7512. No stairs. So let's do a room tour right away. So this is my cabin. I reserved a deluxe room this time. So let's go inside. Okay, here we go. Insert my card and there it is. The lights on. Wow, look at this. It is just like a hotel room. This is a deluxe room. Usually it takes two people or more to reserve this room. But this time, Sunflower was kind enough to allow me for single use. There are two beds and I like this round window. Beyond that, I can see the ocean and enjoy a beautiful view from here. I'm so excited. There are outlets by the bedside. Also, here's an air cleaner for COVID-19 prevention measures. On this side of the cabin, look how big the sofa is. Looks like 2 meter long or more. There is plenty of space for people to relax. More outlets here and there. Here's a chair and a TV set in front of it. I can see it and enjoy it. A round table, and here's a towel, yukata wear, and a set of shampoos, and everything. An air conditioner up there, and a chair, which you use with this vanity table here. And this is like a mini bar, cookies in the shape of sunflower, and tea, coffee, pot. Nilex and down here, there is a hair dryer here, and trash can, and fridge with mineral water bottles free of charge, and slippers, and hungers, and also a big mirror. And here is the bathroom with toilet and shower, and I think it's really gorgeous for ship journey. You have everything in this room. A long journey of 15 or 16 hours won't be any pain at all. Quite comfortable, in fact, I'm sure. 
これは本当に快適な船旅が楽しめそうです They gave me this when I checked in. This is an arrogant rule for wearing masks on sunflower. It's very specific. Basically, wearing masks is required. You can have a conversation, but keep it down. But it also says keep in mind that some people have trouble wearing masks. Try to be open water minded. It's kind of thoughtful. Deck is mask free, it's 100% out in the air. So, if you don't want to wear masks, go out on the deck. It's very specific. Let's start with the lowest rank. So, this is a tourist cabin, which is the lowest grade. Let's check it out. The mattress was much smaller a few years back, but recently they have quite a nice mattress. Now it's wider and better. In the old Sunflower Ferry, we had to share several outlets in the room. But with the new ferry, people have their own outlets and also a radiant light. You can put your stuff on this rock, hunger, and carton. It's nice. Under current circumstances, they put us on every other bed, not next to each other, for social distance. There is a big TV screen, a couple of windows, and here's an air cleaner, a huge one. Sampler says they wanted to equip the air cleaner the size of the hospital. Quite nice. The next grade is called private bed. You see, it is almost like a capsule hotel. You can enjoy the journey as if you were in a private room. With tourist grade, People have to share one big room, but here you have more privacy. It's got enough space for a tall person to fit in and even stretch out. And inside there are outlets, radiant lights for sure. Like tourist grade, you get each of your own TV. You have two hungers, towel, toothbrush, minty package, and slippers. If you don't like sleeping in a one big room, for those of you who want privacy at a reasonable price, this will be it. Just outside the room is a coin locker. This is a type which you put in 100 yen coin, but you will get it back later. Both small size and big size. As for private grade, there is also a private group where you can stay in one group. Capacity of four people. So, if you're students or something, this will be a good one to reserve. This cabin has a wash basin with amenity good. TV also. The next one is private single. You open the door and see this long corridor with several rooms. This looks more privacy. With high ceiling, it's easier to change clothes. Let's look inside. They've got TV, remote controller, outlet, radiant light, amenity good, a mirror, hangers, some storage space, and your legs. Just looks like a capsule hotel. It matches people's needs. They say this is a very popular room. In fact, I was thinking about reserving this room at first. The next room is standard single. Actually, this room used to be only for truck drivers before the pandemic. But now, this is open to everyone to provide more private rooms. They have wash basin with this grade and up, TV, outlets, and everything. It's good to have more private rooms like this, especially now to keep the distance. Mind you that bathrooms are shared. Okay, the next one is superior room. This is the highest grade for single use. Bed and sofa like this. This sofa can be put out to be a bed, which makes it two person's room. Amenity goods. From this ranking up, you have yukata wear. Here is a fridge, air conditioner, of course. Light, outlets, a little bigger TV, remote controller for air conditioner, lots of outlets. For customers, it's very convenient. So, from this grade and up, they have a dressing table. They've got a hair dryer, air freshener, a name card to clean up the room. 
Hungers and a big mirror. Here is a bathroom. With this grate and up, they have a private bathroom with shower and toilet. This is great. With all this stuff, you have a very comfortable cruise. 15 hours is not a problem. The next one is deluxe room with Japanese style. There are two types of deluxe room. I've never seen such a high quality room on a ferry boat. They did not have this grade on Beppu route. This is great. There are pictures, nice interior on the walls, and the really cool windows. We can't see outside view from this window, but this is really cool. A huge TV, the center table, and here is a mini bar. With this grade and up, there is a mini bar equipped. There are coffee, tea, green tea, sweets, and so on. Down here is a fridge. No bed, so they have food on set here. And hangers, amenity goods, and a mirror at the entrance. They have a bathroom, toilet, and shower, like superior room, like this. And then a vanity table. This is a gorgeous cabin. Also with deluxe cabin, there is a room called with pet room. This is a little bigger than the usual deluxe cabin. Here is a space for pet goods. The carpet is for pet use. In case pets peed on it, it will be okay. Well, I didn't know about with pet room. They told me this room is quite popular when people go home and in busy time of the year. They go home with pets. Near the with pet room, there is a dog run course. Wonderful. Look at this. Dogs can run around, they can drink water, and here is a litter box too. Sunflower is the first ferry that installed pet area on boat. Lately, other ferries started too. Also, what is surprising is that they have a pet hotel too. So if you stay in the regular cabin, you can also bring your pets. The Lex with pet room is rather expensive, so you can stay in cheaper room and check in your pets here. This is wonderful. Alright, this is sweet room on the top floor. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Okay, here is the sweet room, the highest grade of all. Isn't this great? No different from hotel suite. You can stay in this suite, two people or more. A huge sofa, chair, and a table. Of course, mini bar, fridge. All these are the same as the other rooms. A huge TV, a vanity table, hungers, the same, and a bathroom. They've got a big bathtub. I think you can stretch your legs. Suite room is the only place where you have bathtubs. Wow, great. Let's go on to the next area. They have a balcony. Look at this. Open it. Wow, it's quite spacious. Deck tiers. So after the ship goes out sail on the Pacific Ocean, you can feel the air, the wind. Only these sweet rooms have balconies. Too gorgeous. This is what we see from the windows. Just wonderful. Also, there is a barrier-free room for a suite. It's a little bigger, but there is no balcony. For bathroom, it's quite large, spacious bathroom, like this. The door is automatic. This is an entrance lobby. Look at this. It's three stairs high with lots of light. Just like a hotel lobby with five stars. The lights are blue, which makes it brighter. I think the entrance is wider and with more lights than Beppu route. On this wall, there is a wallpaper of Sunflower Satsuma. Look at the ceiling of the lobby, a projection mapping. 
Right now, they are not showing the projection mapping to avoid crowds, and they show only before the departure. I hope the pandemic is over and we can see the screen soon during the cruise. This is a space called Promenade. The ship itself is larger between Osaka and Shibushi than that of Beppu route. Wider area. These circle portholes windows are really good for casual cruise, where the passengers can enjoy the ocean view. The back of the promenade is a restaurant. Also, game center, not in service due to pandemic now. This is a kid's room, but not in service either due to COVID-19. Now I am at the shop. They are selling daily commodities, souvenirs, lots of sunflower items, t-shirts, and a miniature model, which kids might like. It's 1,000 yen, Tomika. So many sunflower goods, local sweets, and so on. They have cup noodles, instant food, some snacks, sunflower wine as well. I've never seen it before. Shochu, canned beer. You can buy here and enjoy a drink in your own cabin. You can find vending machines all over, so you can get some beer if you like drinking. Ice cream vending machine. There is a space where you can get boiled water, use microwave, and you can have cold water too. Here is a laundry room. It's good to have one for travelers. Japanese common bathroom. A colorful entrance. Looks nice. You can come here after getting on the ship until 9.30 p.m. at night and from 7.30 a.m. before getting off. Here is a locker room. Right now, we are required to use every other locker to keep distance from each other. Here are some basins. Look at the size of the bathroom. It would be nice. Quite spacious. All ready to go. After the ship leaves, it would be so great to dip in a huge bathtub and look at the scenery. The common bath closes at 9.30 p.m. but there is a shower next to it that you can use for 24 hours. Quite spacious, you can take a shower anytime you like. Quite convenient. Now I am out on the deck. There is no one here now before the departure. You can sit down here and enjoy the scenery. Right now we see the view of Osaka Southport, but at night I think it would be nice with the lights. On the Oita Beppu route, you went under the Akashi Bridge, which was really nice. I see the sign says Sunflower Satsuma behind it. And over there, I see Osaka Prefectural Government Sakishima Building, which is called Sakishima Cosmo Tower. I would like to stay there someday. It feels great on the deck. Nice wind. Now it's in the middle of summer, so it's quite hot, but nice breeze makes me cool. Here are vacancy signs. A lot of vacancies due to COVID-19. Oh, I see the standard single private rooms are full now. People want the private room because it's low risk. See over there? That is Osaka Southport. After a few minutes, it will be Kobe. That will be nice. Have you really left? It's so smooth. No wonder it is a large ship. It's bright sunny today, so I think we can enjoy the cruise without big motions. Now we see ATC, Sakishima Cosmo Tower, and Sunflower for Beppu. Look at this sunset. The sun is about to go down. I can see this beautiful view from my cabin. It will be as beautiful from the deck as well. The direction must be Kobe. Right after the departure, it's so smooth and we can enjoy the beautiful view. As for Wi-Fi, if you access Wi-Fi of the ship, you get this screen. They have quite a variety. If you tap on the movies menu, they've got Bohemian Rhapsody and other various movies. 
I think we can enjoy spending time watching movies. I'm afraid the speed is not so fast as we are on the ocean. Picking up Wi Fi on the land might be faster. With faster Wi Fi service, our journey will become far better. Now it's 7 p.m. and I'm heading to a restaurant for dinner. Here I am at the restaurant. A and B sets, you get to choose either of the sets. Or you can choose pasta and other dish. Here is something called Yale dish to support the local produce to stay in business. So I'm going to have B set dinner with more rice. Usually, they have a buffet for dinner, but sadly, due to the pandemic, not in service. I hope they will resume a buffet soon. But look at the bright side. Buffet costs about 2,000 yen, but for those who don't want to spend much money, now you get dinner for 1,000 yen for a bento box. There are tables, but people sit without facing to each other to keep distance. Alcohol beverages are also served, quite a variety. We do have vending machines too. Drink bar is in service, but with fewer selections. One glass of beer costs 500 yen. Here's the bento box. Looks delicious. Yellow tail, fried chicken, croquette, sweet potato fritter, yakisoba noodles with salad and miso soup. They used to have a good reputation for their breakfast, so making bento box tastes good as well. With a group of people, you can enjoy buffet style, but I'm traveling alone, so this bento box is all I need. I'm in the lobby. They provide an information about the stars in the sky at night, August. If it is clear, we can enjoy the constellation from the deck. Okay, I finished dinner, and they've got a huge public bath, so I'm going to go now. That feels great. I was the only one in a big bath. No one was there. I had the big public bath all to myself. You can never take a bath on the airplane or trains while traveling, but on the ferry, you can. Now it's 11 p.m. It's a bit too early, but the breakfast will be served between 7 and 8.30 tomorrow morning. So I will get up at 6 a.m. I want to keep 7 hours sleep. Good morning. I had a pretty good sleep last night without feeling any waves or motions. I took a shower in my cabin, and now I'm going to eat my breakfast. I want to sleep as late as possible, so I like the idea of having a shower in my own cabin. Ok, let's go for breakfast. For breakfast, you get to choose either western style or Japanese style box. I will have Japanese one. They have rice, grilled salmon, eggs, miso soup, and so on. This is plenty for me. Last night when I was having dinner, I didn't see anything out there. It was pitch dark. But now I see big ocean and mountains in Kyushu. Here I am on the deck. I like feeling the wind of the deck. It's a little hot, but nice breeze. Now you can see Cape Toy behind me. Cape Toy is a habitat for wild horses, nationally protected species. Such a beautiful nature. Famous tourist spot of Miyazaki Prefecture. I didn't know much about that place, so sometime I would love to visit there. 
Maybe we go around there and go to Shibushi Port. Here I am at Shibushi Port. Hardly any pitching. Can you see the scenery? Like this. I'm getting off now. I am now arrived at Shibushi, Kagoshima Prefecture. I really enjoy the cruise. Everything was great, so any type of cabin will guarantee you a nice relaxing stay. It was a little unfortunate that I could not eat at buffet under the current circumstances. I didn't show you on the video, but the crew members were frequently sanitizing all over the places. And with such service, I believe you can enjoy the cruise with little risk of virus. I think it's the best way to use our time traveling from one place to the other while sleeping. If you want to travel by car or motorbikes, you can take it on board, so you should definitely use the ship. Nothing can give us comfortable sleep as ship. At the Shibushi port, there is a bus which takes you directly to Kawashima City in about 2 hours. I'm going to Miyazaki, so I will walk for 20 minutes to Shibushi Station to catch a train. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm posting videos of traveling, reviews of airplanes or ships. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and smash the like button. Also, click the little bell icon so that you will get notified of the next video that I publish. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And see you on the next video.